Hey indie artist, my name's Manifest and I'm going to show you how to upload your music to Spotify as well as iTunes and other digital stores. Do not worry about people stealing your rights or giving away ownership. Um, you still control 100% of your rights. I personally use DistroKid. I have also used TuneCore and CD Baby, but I really love the offer that DistroKid has where you can just pay your one fee, whether that's $19.99 a year or $35.99 a year, um, and you can upload as many songs as you want. I preferably use this way that way I can customize my release date and plan ahead and also do the split songs for like master rights and stuff like that so I find this the most powerful so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna click upload and before you upload new music alright you wanna make sure you have your single cover or album cover you wanna have a mastered WAV file you wanna make sure that you also have the writing splits and you also know your release date those are the four things you need Album cover, which needs to be 3,000 by 3,000 pixels, as if I just scroll down here, needs to be 3,000 by 3,000 pixels. You also need to have the WAV file master. You need to know what date you're going to release, which I suggest at least two weeks. They say one. I say two because you want, you want to have your best chance of getting added to playlists and also your writer's share. So let's, without further ado, let's get started on this. So obviously I want all my music distributed to all these stores, Spotify, Apple Music, all right, all of those. I'm going to release just one song. For this specific release, this song is actually already released, so I'm going to click yes because I'm actually going to move it from uh, from TuneCore. And so if I go over here to TuneCore, it's asking me when was the original release date. Well, it looks like it was January 2018, January 1st, 2018. So I'm going to change this to January 1st, 2018. Now, if you were releasing your own song, if it was if it wasn't previously released, you would just click no and then it would allow you to schedule a release date down here but for my instance I am going to say January 1st 2018 you want to put your artist band name okay um, then you want to make sure that that connects to Apple Music Spotify um, is there a pre-order on a single no thank you um, you want to put your record label okay you whatever the name of your your record label is it could be your name productions your name music whatever you want to create is fine and this is where you want to drag your album cover or upload it here and so I've got mine ready right here so I'm going to grab the single cover I'm going to drag it over boom there's my single cover I want this English you want to choose your genre that's very important to have your genre and uh, for this one it's kind of like an EDM slash hip-hop or rock mix so I'm gonna click electronic and then my subgenre and again you got to know your your style is probably dubstep for this or maybe even drum and bass okay and then it wants you to select a third genre and I am going to say pop for this alright so those are my three genres you want to have those and then of course um, you want to make sure you have your your song title in here and because I'm moving this over from somewhere else I make gotta make sure that I spell it exactly the way I spelt it over here so I'm gonna grab this boom copy this paste like that it says looks like you may be using an explanatory reference using words like instrumental radio edit version extended demo remix etc here's what stores require put the reference in parentheses okay of the song title which I did if you have multiple sets of parentheses the first should be the parentheses and the rest should be in square brackets brackets example the best of times instrumental the best of times featuring whoever it is and then in square brackets the next one so I am just gonna have Doug Weir remix that's all I need and then it'll automatically put the rest of the info in I'm gonna scroll down here now it wants me to upload my audio file so I'm gonna grab that and there's the folder right there and there is my mastered wave file right here that'll start uploading now songwriter information I wrote this song or managed the songwriter it's an original tune okay so another artist wrote it it's a cover song so I wrote this song myself now the songwriters real name so I gotta put my, my my name and whoever I wrote this with I think I wrote this with three other people so I'll fill that in later is this explicit no is this a radio edit no instrumental no but I do encourage you to release your instrumentals you can make a lot of money with your instrumentals and they need them for TV and film so always get your producers to export your instrumentals with no vocals 
Preview clip start time, let streaming services decide. Yes, I don't need to waste my time on that. Track price, I normally do 99 cents. And um, this is really interesting for the YouTube money. All right, it's $4.95 per year per song. I always do this plus 20% of whatever revenue because there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube. You don't have to do this. If you're just getting started with YouTube, it might not be worth it to you. Um, as far as store maximizer, I normally don't do this. I normally say no to these and no to these and just leave it. And then I just click, um, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, and then done. Now, when you scheduled your release date, okay, so if I was scheduling a new song, I would definitely make sure that this is at least say no and it's you know November right now what's the date right now today's November 22nd okay so if I was releasing this I'd probably do December um, at least you know three weeks ahead so probably December 10th I'd have to look at my calendar and want to do at least two weeks ahead so one two I'd probably do December December 11th is what I do because I like to do a Friday okay always like to release on Fridays because I like to get on those new Friday playlists and then of course as far as release time 12 midnight is fine. Time synchronization, I just have it default to the listener's time zone. All right. And then literally, all you want to do is you want to click on done and then give it about 24 or 48 hours. And then this will show up in your Spotify artist dashboard, which allows you to submit to the Spotify playlist, which I'll show you in the next video.